What's up YouTube? Well, best fan of here. Today we're here with just a quick short tutorial. I'm not gonna do like you no know, full scale putting it all together type tutorial. I'm not gonna really do it. Quick short tutorial. I'm not gonna Because I already did that and I, when I recorded it the first time, but the audio wasn't there. So I'm using goddamn Bandicam. Bandicam, their settings aren't they're not explicit. They don't tell you enough. But Oh, actually, hey, I hope you guys are actually enjoying the live wallpaper background that I made. But, um, this is going to be a quick tutorial. It'll give you everything you need, and it will also be a download link in the description below. It's a bunch, you know, you know again, the sprites and everything I used to make it. So, one of the first thing I knew is to, you know, make your moving thumbnails is Spider Factory. Spider Factory is where you put together the characters, put in sprites, and even more so, rip sprites from, you know, characters, and that's how I get the images. So, what you're gonna do is Spider Factory 64 bit, or Spider Factory 30, 64, 32 bit, doesn't matter. What you're gonna do is open it up, you're gonna open the project, uh, open a project, you know, download a character first, that's what I'm saying too. It doesn't have to be, you know, extracted, it can be in the raw file. In the, no, in the raw format because you can open projects from archives but since we're, we're just going to do it normally you're going to open and then you know find your character we're going to go through like roster here i got uh let's do broly super saiyan 3 you know get get a, get a good sprite from him uh just scroll through find whatever find um spot um sprite you want I'll scroll through keep scrolling through Go, let, let, let's go. Let's go to this one. This one. This one is short and sweet. You know, boom. Saved and saved to your desktop or every, wherever directory you put it to. You exit out, or if you're not done, keep gathering the sprites you want. Get out of there. And then we're gonna also need this Adobe Photoshop and put a free download description, updated 2021 link to. I right, boom. Now that Adobe Photoshop is on, you're gonna create new, custom. Make make sure it's also a 16 by 9 16 by 9 aspect ratio, 180, 7, 180, 720, 1366, 768, or any other 16 by 9 aspect ratios that are usable for YouTube thumbnails. I so boom, we got it set open and ready. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna go on Google Chrome or whatever browser you're gonna use. Let's find a nice dope background. All right, so I went on, I went on Google, searched up DBZ Super Glaciers or just sort of Dragon Ball Glaciers, you know. Find whatever picture interest you most. No, oh, let's go with this. One. Sorry about the Discord noise. No, uh, DeviantArt. In order to download, you need Deviant. You know, you need a DeviantArt account, or you can simply just go here, right-click, save image as, and it will go to whatever directory you choose. But since I download the natural way, it will stay in my download folder. I'm gonna open, downloads. You know, find the image. And, you know, it's right here. Don't zoom out on it. No, drag drag this to your where you're making a thumbnail. Boom, it's there. And now what I'm about to do next is big and important. You want to press Control T, or if you're not doing it that way, go to Edit, Free Transform, and then what you see at see right at the top, basic basic top, interpol interpolations. There's a bunch of different settings here. Near neighbor, bilinear, by cubic, by cubic smoother, by cubic sharpener, by cubic automatic. What you want to do is set it to nearest neighbor because nearest neighbor will give it, you know, to the nearest, you know, not the nearest, you know, quality of the original. So you're going to go here, resize it now. Boom, you see it's basically in its, you know, prime quality. Now what you want to do is open up Broly, which is on your desktop or whatever directory you decided to put them in. And boom. As you can see, it says index right there because that's the format sprites needs to be. What you want to gonna do is if it's indexed, you want to go to image mode RGB color to undo it and then drag it. Boom, he's up there. Same thing for him. Control T, keep it at nearest so it won't lose quality. But let, let's see how it looks if I kept it on the original. It's set to by cubic. If you set it to by cubic. Oh my god, it's blurry, you lost the quality. So transform the nearest and neighbor again. Boom. Prime great quality image. Let's resize. I want it to be a little more bigger for the thumbnail. Okay, 
Okay, boom, trying to follow the thumb down. Your boy big, your boy thick, your boy flexing on you with text. Now, how do I, how do I add all the bars and everything? Bro, didn't I just say I wasn't gonna do a full scale uh, tutorial? I I'm literally doing what I'm doing. Whatever, mine's gonna continue. What you're gonna do is press control. You're gonna hit control, hold it down. And you see how it's boxed out over here? Hit control, hold it down. Then click on Broly. Boom, he's outlined. You see the little outline, you know, little animation right there, going right there. You're gonna wanna go to select, modify, border. Now, what you're gonna do is gonna add a border around the character. That's how you make it look like it has R and everything like that. Changing the width means basically the size. So if I put it to 10, that would basically, so if I just color it in with black, that would be colored in. Well, since we don't want it that big, let's border it in three. Boy, we already know what color boy Broly is. You know, that, grab that color green. Actually, let's make the shade a bit lighter. Boom, that's actually prime Broly color. Make another layer above it. You don't want it to go on the character specifically. Boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Color that bad boy, color that thick boy. Boom, we got all around him. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to filter, blur, at Gaijin blur. Or is still around him. You know, if you, if you can't see it a bit, double it back a bit. You can add some, you know, you can change it to overlay, make it brighter, light edge, and make it a little more brighter than normal. You know, there's a bunch of different options over here, but let's do overlay. You see it, you see it, it's gonna be brighter. Then what you're gonna do is add a layer below it, and this is how you're gonna add, you know, the lightning effects, the, the smoke effects, and everything like that, which will all be in a template with, you know, the downloadable and the executables that you can put into Adobe just by with a simple click or a double click, most likely. Then what you're gonna do is scroll down here. Now that seamless lightning strikes. These are basically just nothing but brushes. Boom, it adds, you know, a dope effect to it. You know, you mess with the little circle ball right there. Make it smaller. Make it bigger. Kind of look at his aura. And that's how you know add the lightning strikes and everything if you want to add a little bit more glow you're gonna you're gonna double tap on broly or the image or the layer then add you got some color overlay radiancy oh that actually gives it a nice dope little little color crash in there that's nice you're gonna add glow you go to outer glow so you're gonna get the color green you want if we did we made it a little bit brighter on overlay, you can change to normal. Alright, it looks like he all he on his aura, you know, Broly gets angry, all that. You know, then go to layer me below. And now it actually looks like he has, you know, lightning coming out of him, all that good stuff. You know, keep messing around with the lightning strikes and all that. Even do smoke. I'm gonna show you smoke in a minute. Right there. Then let's let me show you smoke. The smoke brushes. That's upwards. Twenty smoke brushes. I didn't switch up brush. Now you see the little smoke right there gives it a little, you know, aura effect to him. You don't know how Broly is. We all know how both Broly's are, new and old. You know, just mess around with it, get a feel of it. You know, play around with it. That's basically how I, how I do it. I just mess around, see what goes with what, what matches with, what matches with whatever. All right, now we're gonna add a little text effect to to your boy. Add some text. You can even add it above it, add it below it. Press Control A. You no, know, you got you know download going. You know you know the font, the fonts, whatever you want to get your you know your cool fonts from. You know, make it smaller. Make it you know smaller to fit. Press Control T. Make it go sideways, however you want it to be.
telling you guys, this is my second time making this video. I I spent the first time making this video literally going through and editing everything. Oh wait, my fault. Getting getting off track. But what you're gonna do next is you know double click on it. Don't you know, double click on it. Add some gradients. I put gradient packs in the link in the description below. Don't worry, don't worry. Change the opacity on that boy. Even edit the color a bit. Basically, mess around there. You can do you can do base and emboss. You know, give it a little 3D effect to it. See how it's getting a little, little, you know, a little weird. It makes it look like you know some kind of you know, diamond gives a little, you know, just a little bit more to it. Stroke basically adds you know a black you know, you know layer behind, like you know, you know outlining to it. Outside, give it like that. Let's keep messing around with it. Hopefully, I'm being like. No. Like specific and everything. Now in order to save your time from having to do that again with the next you know text effect, you know, duplicate that layer. You know, see what this FX is right here, just drag it, drop it on the next, delete that copy, boom, save you a lot of effort. And this is basically how I make my movement thumbnails. I some for some I put a little more extra effort in, but this is just a basic how I'm put you know it together. I'm gonna put this PFD and it's gonna be the one I did originally down in, in a you know, entire you know, round zip folder to, to test it out. They're PSD so they work with Adobe Photoshop and an online you know, Photoshop editor that uses PSD as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. I really hope you enjoyed the intro and the outro for this video.